Hello guys, welcome back to Until Dawn. This is part 13. Let's jump back in, shall we? We are with Chris and Ashley. Currently in the... Uh... Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're in a... <laughs> we just found this secret compartment. And I think... Our current objective is to search the library. I see something here. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Whoa. There's another clue. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Effing 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. That is... That is creepy. Holy cow. So I can be protective here. There's nothing here or honest. Take a look at this. I pride myself in honesty. Now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. All right, we need to find Josh. Is there anything else in here? In this room, or is that it? it? Seemed like that was it. All right. So we need to find Josh. Okay. It's not an easy place to maneuver around. Oh. Oh. Whew. <laughs> And no prices for where we're supposed to go next, guys. What was that? Jeez. What is this? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. November 8th, 2013. Dr. C.J. Swaffham, Race and Ethnicity Department, 183 Haskell Hall, 6130 Amsterdam Road, Vancouver. This is just an address. Sorry, am I reading this? Dear Dr. Swaffham, thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feels an attachment to the land here, even if we have a few unfortunate problems. Graffiti, people sleeping in the outbuildings. This is their ancestral home, after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step that is necessary. Yours sincerely, Melinda Washington. On reverse, saw that crazy guy again. Thursday, 9.17 p.m. Hanging around the generator shed. I'm going to start keeping a record. Okay, so there is a guy, and this has got something to do with um, property or something, and there's this wacky guy, so... Yeah, what are the clues yet? Let's have a look and see here. We can find the, uh... we haven't found any more clues. It's this mystery man, I think. Here it is, a threatening letter. This clue number nine. Threatening letter found in the large library. A creepy note written to the Washington family, threatening to ex exact revenge on Hannah and Beth. I will take them and bleed them. Well, we've read that, so no need to read it, read it anymore. Okay. Oh, there's some Native American pictures here. Let's see. Anything else around here? Apart from the obvious. The obvious would be here. We're not allowed to leave. So, um, 
I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light, and then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Oh. Uh -huh. You hear that? That was Josh. <laughs> coming from the kitchen. Oh. Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! Whoa! this oh my word is this like the mystery man it has to be Oh yeah, clowns. This guy again. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Oh, really? But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. I prefer Sam. I prefer Josh. Josh. We know we've seen these characters a bit already. I, uh, Josh is a bit, he's got this really weird dark side, I think, that I just can't get a hold on. Sam seems pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go with Sam. Oh, yeah, Emily and Matt. This is an easy one. We know very little about both of these, these guys. Emily, she seems like a sort of a bitch. Matt, feel sorry for him, but, yeah, I prefer Matt. All right, this is this is where it gets gets really difficult. <laughs> is I like them both. They are they're both. I mean, they're they're both likable. I prefer Chris. I prefer Ashley. It's just this is a coin toss for me, really. It really is a coin toss. I'll go. I'll go Ash. Mike and Jessica. Well. We all know Mike, the ladies' man. He's a bit rough around the edges. Jessica seems a bit, seems a bit thick. I don't know. I don't really, I don't care too much for any of them. But uh, if I have to, I prefer Mike. All right. So looking at me weird. Oh, I prefer Josh. I prefer Emily. Oh, this is now. This is hard. Because I really, we really don't know Emily. We don't know anything about Emily. We know Josh, but he's got this sort of. I'm not. I'm really not sure about Josh. But I'm. 
probably getting out of hand here, so I'm going to go with Josh. I prefer Josh. Chris or Jessica? That's pretty straightforward for me. I prefer Chris. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Oh, here we go. I dislike Emily. I dislike Jessica. Well, I, I never said I dislike Jessica. It's just that uh, she's a bit daft, and I don't know. She's not really my type of person. But Emily, we don't really know. And the one scene that we've seen with her, she's been a total bitch. So, Emily. A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like... Once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I bet we will. I bet we will.